Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Do me a favor and click the like and subscribe button and share this video if you feel like it'll be helpful to others. I also have an OnlyFans, so click the link in the subscription box if you want to see exclusive content. It's Crystal Tantric Yogi here and in this video I'm going to talk about seven things that I learned from giving women Tantra massages. Women, you want to stay tuned because you want to hear about this and men, you'll probably be able to relate. So if you want to know the things that I learned from giving Tantra massages to women, stay tuned because I'm going to share everything. So the first thing that became very apparent to me as a Tantra practitioner giving women yoni massages is the fact that many women are numb in their intimate areas. When I was proceeding giving yoni massages to my clients, there were many of them that took lots of stimulation, skill, and time just to reach the initial stages of arousal. I believe a lot of clients struggle with being numb in their intimate areas for the simple fact that they just don't stimulate their intimate areas that regularly, whether it's with a partner or if it's on their own with self-cultivation practices. I also believe that it's hard for women to reach the initial stages of arousal if mentally and emotionally they are very resistant to how their body naturally reacts during the process. Women, it's very hard to have a full climax if you are resistant to the process of natural arousal. The second thing that became very apparent to me when I was giving massages is the fact that women are very disconnected from their bodies and especially their intimate areas. I was really surprised at how many women would question, is their body doing what it's supposed to do whenever they would start to get aroused? A lot of women would get nervous when their body would shake or start to make snake-like movements or convulse when their body was just naturally doing what it was supposed to do. A lot of women didn't trust their bodies and did not know if it was okay for their bodies to naturally react the way that it did when they would start to get highly aroused and oftentimes would mentally and emotionally shut the process down because they felt like they were losing control. Women, it's very important for you to be able to let go and trust your body in order to enjoy physical satiating pleasure. The third thing that I learned from giving massages as a Tantra practitioner to women is that I found that the women that enjoy their massages the most, have the most orgasms, were more mature women or women of a certain age. And I don't think age necessarily has to be a variable in whether you are satiated sensually or neurotically, but I do think the more experience you have with your body and the more confident that you are, you will trust your body to go through the arousal process and be able to enjoy and let go when it's time to release. I found that women that were usually a little bit older, meaning between 35 and 45, and were just naturally more mature, maybe had been in relationships, just were more consciously aware of what they wanted, usually were multi-orgasmic and seemed to respond to the arousal process much more naturally and smoothly. So that should be encouraging to young people and people of all ages to know that age and how desirable you are physically has nothing to do with how great your intimate life and how pleasurable it can actually be. It's more about how much you understand your own energy, how confident you are in your body, and how receptive you are to receiving pleasure. The fourth thing that has become very apparent to me as a masseuse to my tantric massage clients 
is the fact that a lot of women appear to be taking a more masculine approach to their sensual gratification or pleasure. I really think that it's because there has been a huge explosion in social media and financial independence for women. Also, a huge explosion in the toy industry for women. So when women are able to be financially independent and give themselves these really intense climaxes from different utensils or toys or temporary partners, it is very powerful and it can be addictive. The problem becomes when you become numb because everything is so physical. You are going to have your most gratifying intimate life when you know how to balance the physical with the emotional vulnerability that it takes to have really great climaxes. This involves you understanding your body, building true confidence, being vulnerable and receptive and open to how the natural state of states of arousal occur in the body and the connection between the mind, heart, and the yoni. As a tantric masseuse to women, the other thing I also notice with several women is that they are highly dependent on their partners or the person that's stimulating them physically for their pleasure. This becomes a problem when you want to experience different levels of pleasure. I believe that a lot of women don't understand their bodies are not confident because they've been taught to be very conservative and not to explore this area of their lives in a safe way. Because of that, women tend to be highly dependent on whoever their partner is or whatever toy they have or whatever masseuse is available to create an experience for them of pleasure because they don't feel like they understand or own their own intimate life. Remember women, it's your body, your choice, but that also means that you're accountable for creating the type of experiences that you would like to have. Having some assistance with pleasure is always great. That no matter how many highly stimulating, pleasurable possibilities there can be for you, if you are resistant or if you are ignorant to the things that you enjoy, you're going to limit the amount of pleasure that you can feel. Your climax has come from you and nobody else. Another interesting thing that I noticed as being a tantra masseuse to women is the fact that a lot of times women have a hard time or difficult time investing in their physical pleasure. Men have no problem spending money on Tantra massages and I'm bombarded with requests from men often. But for women, no matter what the cost is or how I offer it, on what days I offer it, a lot of women are hesitant to actually book a massage and invest in this area of their lives. I think there's two reasons. There's a lot of stigma around paying for intimate pleasure but especially for a woman, I think women have a certain amount of pride in that they should have a partner or a lover to do these things for them without actually paying for them. And so the investment of physical pleasure is something that I think we as women and a collective should get more comfortable with doing because when we don't, oftentimes we deny ourselves things that we really want to have and then we are bitter and frustrated because there's an internal conflict of not having the pleasurable life that we really feel like we deserve. So I know some of you guys are probably thinking, dang Crystal, you didn't talk much about the benefits of a yoni massage. I do, however, want to end this video mentioning some positive benefits that I have seen as a masseuse that I have not mentioned before in my previous video. There are three. And the first one is, I was really excited to notice that most women are eager to take this intimate area of their life back under their control. The second thing was, I was surprised to notice that no matter what the cultural or spiritual background of my client was, they were very open-minded to doing something different, especially when it came to somatic healing modalities that were maybe a little bit outside of their comfort zone. 
The third thing that I'm really excited about is the fact that I really believe that Tantra massage as an industry will probably grow exponentially in the upcoming years. And that really makes me happy and joyful on the inside because that means as a collective, we're evolving and we are allowing ourselves to try different things, which is really important. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I can't say it enough. And if you'd like to learn more about me and my offerings, I'm going to leave a link to my website in the description box. On my website, you'll find everything you can to know about me and what I offer, and also a link to my OnlyFans where I share uncensored content. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. Keep it sexy and safe. Bye.